IP controllers with rotary knobs have a push and turn secondary function. One of these functions is the source selection. The source selection allows the user to change the input source to an assigned zone. Source selector can also be controlled via TCP control or from the Allen & Heath custom control app. For example, zone 1 might be a lobby area and by pushing and turning the IP controller in that room, I can select the input channel going to that room. Background music, feed from a live room, etc. Source select can also be a preset, changing a range of parameters within the AHM unit, as well as playing audio files stored inside the AHM. To set up source selector, first select a zone by going to Channels, Zones, and press the Selector button. This opens the source selector page, where you can assign up to 20 input sources or presets as selectable sources. Fades between sources can be set, as well as custom names and colors for that source in that zone. Note that this does not change the set name of the input channel. Sources added to the selector should also be added to the zone in crosspoint routing and should not be muted. A default on level can be set, the order of sources rearranged, and the whole configuration of the source selector can be copied from or to other zones or completely reset. Once this is complete, we need to configure the IP controller. In the Configure page and Controllers tab, select IP1 or IP6. The top row of rotaries represents the push and turn function of the rotary and the bottom row represents a normal turn. Push and turn should be set to Zone Source Select and the relevant zone selected. This now allows for any of the sources or presets in the source selector to be assigned to the specific zone. The normal rotation function of the knob can be assigned to the output level of the relevant zone, for example.